So this comment here really touches on the complicated and nuanced conversation surrounding addiction. And in order to have that conversation, we really need to distinguish three distinct but related terms, tolerance, withdrawal, and then addiction. Tolerance is the experience of needing more and more of the same medication in order to get the same biological response. What that looks like with a pain medication is typically on day one, you have the experience of pain relief, but a week or two later, having taken the medicine every day, you need more medication to get the same amount of pain relief. Withdrawal, on the other hand, is sort of the inverse experience caused by, again, your body getting used to the medication. With a pain relieving medication, what that often looks like is you stop taking it and start to experience a heightened rebound pain in excess of what you would typically experience just being present. In the case of withdrawal, you might also experience hyperalgesia, a heightened sensitivity to experiencing pain as you wean off the medication. In both cases though, we are again talking about your body getting biologically used to a substance coming in day in and day out, and then reacting in a somewhat expected or predictable way. So now we can actually talk about addiction. In addiction, we are referring to a psychological construct. It is the use of a substance in face of adverse consequences. And it's that last piece that's so important. We wouldn't typically say you're addicted to daily tasks like eating food, drinking water, putting your clothes on, which we do every day, because those are considered healthy, adaptive things to do in our lives. In contrast, we often find that we are faced with a difficult choice. And that's where the tolerance and the withdrawal come in. Imagine that you have now become accustomed to, say, that pain relieving medication, which you could have needed really deeply at first for some searing pain. Maybe you broke a bone, injured a muscle. But now you are faced with that withdrawal symptom if you stop taking it, or the tolerance of needing to take more than you'd like. However, on the other hand, there are now interpersonal consequences. It's impacting your day-to-day -day life, your mood, your family, your friends. You can start to see why it becomes so insidious and how it can be so hard to just say, oh, I'll just stop, because there is a real consequence to the stopping too. Now, this is just a primer, and there's a lot more to talk about here, uh, but I hope that's a good start to a really deep conversation.